Toby here from HealingDrummer.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, this is just a quick video. I want to talk to you about a, a comment that I received. I just finished a series of videos on magic. And I uh, told stories about uh, the contombly, the, the spheres that came floating around in my bedroom in, uh, in Burkina Faso, uh, West Africa. I talked about uh, a, a man that I had seen whose hand had been punctured by uh, getting bitten by a snake. And within a, a matter of hours, there was no longer a wound on his hand. And, uh, and I told the story about the, uh, the camera that I had left 30 minutes behind on our travels away from a ritual site. And it suddenly appeared on the hood of the car. Um, wild stuff, absolutely magic. And uh, I got a comment from a, a friend of mine in, in the Washington, D.C. area. And she said, yeah, Toby... What prevents magic from happening? She said, I need more magic in my life. And uh, she told me about a situation where she went uh, into a very busy part of, uh, of Washington, D.C., waited for hours and hours and hours because she wanted to see the Pope. And she worked her way into this really great spot, and she got three pictures of the Pope, and it just totally rocked her world, right? It, it felt magical to her. Well, if we look at what happened to her to restore this magic, she had a, a vision, she had a goal, she wanted to see the Pope. Two, she was willing to do anything to make that happen. She went into an insane amount of traffic to get there, an insane amount of crowds that were, that were on the sidewalks. And three, she executed her intention with hope. Okay? That made the magic happen. And I got to tell you, for me, in my life, it's been very, sim very similar in terms of um, what prevented magic from happening in my life for uh, quite a long period of time. It was a very, very dark time for me. Uh, was judgment, despair, and hopelessness. Uh, I had been in a situation where I had trusted someone, someone who was my mentor, uh, someone who uh, presented themselves as being very spiritual. I had dedicated my life to a path I had gone through to years of school, years of training, and, and then uh, uh, supported this uh, particular uh, viewpoint with my heart and soul. And then found out uh, that my mentor, who I trusted and who had guided me on this path, had been lying, had been embezzling money from our organization, had been, uh, uh, won't get into the specifics, but let's just say almost everything he taught, he wasn't living. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he was doing just the opposite. And I was hit with such a, 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 such a state of, of betrayal and pain that I became judgmental, I became uh, hopeless, uh, and, and all of this kind of negativity that overtook me um, created disaster in my life. So I would say that uh, judgment, despair, and hopelessness prevents magic from happening. But when we get to the core of our beliefs, when we get to the core of what we stand for, we can change all that. A betrayal, a, a significant, catastrophic betrayal, does not have to disarm or derail us from what we believe is the truth. When I met Maladoma Somme, uh, who became my teacher and continues to be my friend, he taught me about non-judgment. He taught me about how we can connect to our own spiritual understanding. And that we can hang on to that and that nothing can derail us from that because our trust is in something much higher than the behavior of a human being. We've all had successes. We've all had failures. The way to let the magic in is to be hopeful, be clear, and take action with passion and hope. You ever Today I would encourage you to rise above the difficulties. Rise above the betrayal and connect to something bigger than that. Connect to the universal energy of hopefulness. Allow your judgments to fall to the wayside. There's some basic quick tips on 
how to make the magic happen for you. And uh, I hope it was helpful. All right, one great way to let the magic in and let all that other shit go is open to the rhythm of the drum. It speaks a language that's far beyond our human capacity. And it can help call in the magic. Have a great day.